All right, so here today we got a very fun Nidhogg team. Yes, Nidhogg is the uh, is the only boss I didn't cover yet because I was waiting to see what would I what I could do for this one. Like the first team that I came up with wasn't the best, right? And then I later found a team. Um, shout out to Twitter for that one. Absolutely cooked uh, on the JP side. They actually found up a team here that kind of worked. Um, and this one probably, if if it's not the best team, it is like the second best because I think Goddess team still triumphs over everything. But again, I'll talk about it in this video and like show you what I kind of found out here. It was a fun team, though. It was a fun team, dude. Having Melly hit like that is a freaking it's an insane thing. But today, I'll show it to you. If you're new to the channel, like it, subscribe, help us out, son. Uh, this is again Nidhogg. If you want to see the uh, full team breakdown, it's at the end of the video. Uh, for gear sets, card sets, everything, that'll be there. So again, forward to that part if you want that part. But with this, let's jump into it. This is the gameplay. Let me let me hop over there. So starting it up over here, this is again um, floor one, two, three with every single phase and everything um the gimmicks that i wanted to like really talk about here is uh basically with this team correct the only issue i actually encountered um was that <laughs> you kind of require um like you, you need to do a lot of damage right and this team does that this team definitely does that but in some issue uh, in some situations it causes uh, a beautiful issue that issue is you do too much damage right because you don't want to burn cards that's the entire thing here with this uh, with this team um, like, you want Melly's cards to be there because he's going to hit like a truck. Uh, and then you find out, wow, Melly does hit like a truck. So maybe I don't need all his cards on him, right? Um, the more copies you have also on him, the, the more he does realize that also because, like, his whole thing works with him that way. But, um, is this team good? Yes. Why is this team good? Let me, let me tell you that right now. First off, Melly has the ability to cleanse his entire team every single turn. Realize that he cleanses a debuff basically every single time. You know how nuts that is, dude? Totally. You know how nuts that is? Uh, in so many situations, it helps out massively. And in so many situations, you're like, dude, that just came in clutch. On top of that, if you stack enough debuffs or, or, or his passive on the uh, the enemy, you're going to cancel stance. Now, a cancel stance in his kit on a boss that requires that constantly, that's also pretty good. So entirely, his kit is just like made for this in a way. Uh, to be where he is just a top tier character. Um, is he the best of the best for like team based stuff? Again, I, I told you honestly, I still think if you want the easiest team for this boss, it, it's goddesses. It, it, that's it. Nobody will tell you otherwise. Goddesses is still the best. Till today, it's it's the one that's designed for this. Why wouldn't it be the best, right? Logically, put two and two together, it's the best because it's designed for this, right? So for that reasoning being the big case here. Obviously, just if you want the best team and the easiest team and the team that will make your life much easier, go Goddesses. Okay, that doesn't change. It doesn't just change every single time uh, where it's like, oh, a team that's not even designed for this, will this be better? No. Will this be good if you don't have Goddesses? Yeah, I think so, actually. Compared to a lot of teams, this is probably the better one. I haven't tried updated Ragnarok. Like, they recently got Freyr's Relic, so does that really help them? I don't know. But um, what I do know is, for the team that I first ever cleared without... Without goddesses, this is that team. So I've never, ever been able to beat this uh, without, like, Freya, Relic, and whatnot. This is no Freya Relic, so because of this team, I was able to beat it. So you want that to be your, your logical point, run with it. But um, I'll be honest with you, if you have goddesses, I still recommend to run that. If you don't have them, then this is a great option, right? You don't have, what is it, Margaret or Freya Relic? This is your go-to team, probably. I think so. There is Reinhardt team, but again, Floor 3 Reinhardt team kind of fodders out but i haven't tested recently uh, or even post the relic release for freya right so there's that but again the only relic you need or the only thing you need here is lr liz <laughs> right mostly most of us have uh, demon king because he's a festival dn's been back so many times and then god melly's the point in this video but it's it shredded look at this dude <laughs> kind of shredded um so at, at some point I, at this point that i'm talking i obviously just finished the first uh, first floor but i don't know if i post edit this perfectly but right there Floor one was a, was a was a breeze, but again, floor one is a breeze for every team, even Ragnarok team. So realize that. Again, uh, the longest floor actually out of this entire uh, gameplay was floor three, and it was phase one and two. Phase three was the fastest. Just phase one and two required so much stalling, so much just bullcrap because at a point it caused the issue where it's like sometimes we would just keep uh, keep on like in a way you know, adding stance to him, or canceling his stance, and because of that, it increases his gauge. We just weren't ready to do enough damage, basically, and it kept happening, but, um, yeah, we solved it at the end, right, because you want to, like, get those darkness stacks on you, 
and all that, but if I were to do this again, probably, I'd be fine. For my first time doing it, I did fine. That's what it is. But now that I know the gimmicks, going back at it a second time will definitely be better. Knowing how much damage it is done, knowing when Meliodas to like, keep an eye on like the um, the stance can still pop up, and then also managing the fact that you don't want darkness applied to your units. Because remember, that's what the phase uh, or floor three has, right? But um, that's an issue that gets kind of tackled as I now continue with this team. Um, but just for my first again playthrough, being a team that's not goddess team, oh, it went well. <laughs> it went very well. Um, but yeah, again. Floor 1 and 2, in my opinion, are still pretty easy. I think that uh, with this team, it's still pretty much uh, Triumph or kind of 1. Here, this is the part where I reset, so I don't know if I edit this again properly, but uh, it's when I use a Liz card. Liz didn't do enough damage. I was like, oh, got to reset. Um, that was because, again, I'm used to Goddess Team. I think Goddess Team buffs her so much, so she has a lot more stats. Uh, she's able to kill on just a rank 1, but uh, I realized that's so how I just quickly get the merge together because you want to kill with uh, the buff removal, right? But yeah, did it, 85k, and again, I don't know if I post that properly, but I'm talking over a different part, just knowing about that part, but um, continuing onwards, just kept on going through it, kept on having fun, uh, kind of, again, still a great team, if you if you need a Nidhogg team, try this team out, see how it goes, uh, I will be honest with you, you're gonna need some uh, stats on there, correct, because you need, you need a tanky character, <laughs> you need some tanky, uh, tanky HP here. Uh, my box CC is not like whale heavy box CC, but it's not, you know, small 8 million uh, box CC, and that's relatively speaking, right? Saying 8 million small is crazy, but uh, you do want some HP buffs on here, or just have some great UR gear uh, and whatnot. I think like three out of the, the units here are HP uh, gear setted, so realize that also. But um, that compared to, you know, like it, it, to a degree, right? It, it works, it works. All right, Demon Q was the only one taking a lot of damage. Uh, the end tanked perfectly, just Demon King was the issue. So, keep that in mind, but again, you kind of can't put Tarm Link on Demon King because you want to keep that on Deanne, because uh, she'll keep on uh, putting it for Taunt. Uh, just make sure in some sta uh, stages when they put up the Taunt, they have cancel stance. So just make sure you've timed that perfectly, uh, where, you know, you don't just get it ruined. I think, I think Floor 2 has cancel stance, right? Pretty sure it does. I think maybe it's Floor 3. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere, it's somewhere, it's somewhere is a cancel stance, so. Keep that in mind, but... Kept on progressing, kept on getting through it, and uh, yeah, I, I will try. Like I don't know when I when I show this to you, I can't really forward pass any parts. I don't want to do that because I want you to at least be able to see everything. But that floor three part was like the worst, right? That was officially the part, or like phase one and two of that part was the worst. Phase three was quick. We we were in and out of that thing in, in seconds. It's just because of the darkness thing, and then I didn't want to uh, do that. Like in a, in a situation, I think I messed up actually, uh, where I canceled the stance where I didn't want to. But um, once you understand the gimmicks and, you know, what you have to do there, and you get used to using melee that way, oh, you'll be fine. Right? You'll, you'll, you'll completely be fine. So, like, build his stacks. You don't want to do that first. You want to, like, be able to not do that. But at the same time, you don't want to not let melee attack because then you get into the issue. Again, what? Darkness being applied. You don't want that because next day she'll just keep attacking melee. And uh, melee doesn't have charm link, right? So, realize that also, but... um. Yeah, gonna keep moving with this gameplay here. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Uh, if, if anybody knows if Ragnarok team is better than this, let me know in the comments. Haven't again played Ragnarok team in a while. Uh, that was the team that I used before Goddess team existed, but I never cleared floor three. I just cleared one and two and I gave up. So I just felt like there was too much RNG on floor three, so I never actually tried it with, uh, with that team. But again, if this team went through it, I think that it's definitely a worth the team to try. And you know, at least bare minimum, if you can't beat phase three. Or sorry, for uh, floor three, uh, just farm one and two with this team, and you'll be fine, right? Because uh, again, there's no Freya requirement. I don't. I clearly don't have Freya's relic here, uh, or Freya activating anything, and I clearly don't have Margaret here. So both characters are missing. But yes, there is LR Liz, which I know people will complain about. Like, oh no, no crap, you're winning. You have LR Liz. Well, I just removed Freya and Margaret for you, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, try my best here, but um. Yeah, definitely that's the case. Uh, at the time of me talking, I'm finishing up the uh, final phase here at Floor 2, but enough damage was there. We were consistently enough damage. The only issue I had one time was where I didn't have the right cards on Floor 3 to not do enough damage, but when Melee has his buff, right, and he has a gold card, oh yeah, he is going to hit, bro. He's going to hit the damage cap. He's going to hit for the highest number possible. At one point, it was like 1.2 million we did somewhere. But um, yeah, Melee is just... He is just that guy. That's what it is, right? But... um. Yeah, moving on. Uh, floor three. Really, again, it just took a while. That's it. It just took a while. 
It wasn't, again, in my opinion, the most difficult thing. It simply took a very long time. Um, but yeah, again, in this phase, uh, or in phase one here, what you want to do is basically, uh, you have to get, or his, his gauge will get to 100. Uh, you want to make sure all ults are there, and then attack one time, right? Because it's going to be 33% for ult. And then when you attack one time, they'll be, uh, when it's at 0%, you will then do enough damage to kill. So, keep that in mind. But yeah, um, I kept on, how I do it basically is I build up, uh, Liz's ult gauge as soon as possible, so that I can fill everybody else's ult gauge, and I make sure everybody has at least three ult gauge, you know, in their possession. So that they are ready to attack with their ult, whenever it is. So again, you see everyone has two right now, and then um, I just I just kind of stall it out. I ult with Liz, uh, but then also you want to make sure where uh, you know everyone does have that because that's just how I do it. And uh, you can get done with uh, on turn three, get the entire boss killed here for phase one. But um, sometimes RNG doesn't allow that. If you want to reset here and there, it doesn't matter. Do it that way. But still, compared to other teams that I've tried, um, it worked. So. Definitely happy about that. Um, I will say that God Melly is probably the best PvE release we had in a little bit, <laughs> relatively speaking. It's just, he just works everywhere, right? He's, he's a god in PvP. He's a god in PvE. Compared to last year, I think, what was last year? Pur Purgatory Melly, right? Trader Melly is the better one. Trader Melly was good in PvP and PvE at the time. Uh, Trader Melly, or uh, Purgatory Melly, was good mainly in PvP. I didn't use him, uh, use him that much in PvE. He worked, but... I personally think that just God Melly transcends both of them, where he's God in both, right? Because of his name, God Meliodas. Oh yeah, he's a God in both of them. Both contents he's God, so. Do that reasoning, yeah. But here, I don't heal ever. I always use the three ults, because again, that doesn't really help me. Just do the three ults and then attack um, normally, right? With nothing. I was like trying to calculate here. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing so much math. I'm like, all right, will this work? Yes, it will work. And then just use, um, try to save like the big attacks for the next turn, because you're gonna need it. Uh, also, uh, Deanne has drain, right, or ult removal. So keep that in mind. Make sure to time that up properly. Uh, you always try to save that for phase two because you don't want to get ulted on as much because um, then he'll just one-shot you, right? In fact, the entire gimmick here. So make sure you have that drain there just in case at one time if he's going to go on ult. But here you go. This stage will take me three minutes. Three minutes for this one little part or four minutes for this one little part. And there's not much left of the video. You can clearly tell, right? So this stage is the only annoying part, which I could have done much better, much better, but... Now that I know it, next time I'll do it better, but here we go. So again, no stance removal. Here you go again. No stance removal. Okay. And here you go again. No stance removal, right? But when I punch with Melly again, which I'll do soon, it'll be stance removal, right? And that'll cause one of the, the gauge to raise up. So it happened constantly. And yeah, I, ha I have to I have to fix that. <laughs> next time I do it, I'll do it better. I promise, I promise. But here you go. Did uh, Liz's attack here. It caused a little bit of a heal up. Then I use Melly's card, which is now going to, because again, look at the top left, the buffs are there. Or debuffs, what do you want to call it, right? They're there. So now that's going to cause that. So it's going to raise the percentage to 15. And then again, I attack with uh, regular cards here, right? I just didn't have, like, enough damage, right? If I was doing more damage at this point, then it would have been fine, right? But I just wasn't. You see each attack doing, like, barely anything. But you have to also realize on this phase here, Demon King's here carry, not Melly. Melly can't carry for anything here. Why? He's not getting debuffed. He's not removing anything. His whole passive is being removed because he's not letting any debuff occur to him because there's no debuff to occur to him, correct? So because of that happening, uh, you were just in a different area here. It, it was a little bit weird. Um, and that's just how it was because, again, there's no debuff happening. He's not causing a rank up. His stats aren't getting increased. Nothing's happening to him. So realize that, but that gets solved in phase three. It's just this phase that causes that. Uh, both this phase and the last phase, I think, actually. But as you can see here, move the stance, but cause another 15% increase. It keeps happening like that, right? Now, will I kill him before I do another increase? No. <laughs> I'll do one more increase. Because again, I'm still far from the damage uh, threshold, so. Let's see. I'm pretty sure, like, if I played my cards better here, I could have done it, actually. I think I went for his, uh, let me see what I did here. So, I buffed up. I was, like, considering it. And I actually think that I folded here. So if I played my cards differently, we would have progressed this stage right here. I think so. Let me, let me see right now, now that I'm looking back at it, right? So I did this, and I caused the gaze to increase. Yeah. I think that I would have killed. If I didn't do that, I would have killed him. And progressed the stage. But I'm stupid. I didn't do that, but pretty sure I increased his gauge one more time because he actually stances up. I don't want to die. So, it, this was just my stupidity. But, 
I'll let you see it so you are aware of what I did and that you can literally stall this phase forever. If you wanted to, you could stall in this phase forever. So if you keep messing up, keep stalling, bro. <laughs> right? Just don't be using Melly's cards. Here you go. I use Melly's cards, right? Because I got to get rid of that stance. Um, because I'm just... Now I know that I have to get ult probably to do this, right? So, got to get rid of that stance. And I raise the gauge again. Wonderful. Now, my goal is to get ults. When the next time he counters, I'll put the ults up and do it that way. Right? So, I'll lower the gauge by ulting. And then when he has a stance up, I'll do it that way. So, that was my plan of attack. Did it work? I guess. <laughs> Very little. So, here we go. Now, boom. Then I decided, okay, so he has this. What can I do here? I'll just attack. Tank the ultimate. That's all I can do. So, again, very stupid things. I kept messing this part up, but that's why it extended. It was my fault, too. So, I, I, I made it clear. I want to show it to you. Right? I could have cut this out. I could have hid this from you. You would have never seen this. But, just want to show it to you. So, if you make the same mistake, or um, if you think you scuffed your run, you didn't, right? You really didn't. Clearly, I scuffed this run so much. Um, and here, basically, standard stuff here. He's going to attack. Uh, I'll tank it. You, you can clearly see I'm tanking all of this. It's all fine. Yeah, it's a little close. A little, little, little starts dancing a little bit with the uh, with the wrong side here. But I fixed it up. I think I heal here, and then stance up, and then Demon King will kill, right? And then I'll slide. Yeah, that's what I go for here. So did that. Not bad. Here's the heal. Increase everyone's ult. Increase everyone's attack. Get her stance up, and Demon King will shred the one only boss here, pushing us to phase three. And now there's only like four minutes left or three minutes left of this entire video, um, and we're done. And that's just this floor over here. Because uh, remember, you have to do it where it's like below 75%, um, okay? You get a drop in that meter on the left over there by 25%. So you have to make sure his HP on the top there, it's less than 75%. Which, is that easy to do? Yes, with this team it is. With other team, probably not. That's why Ragnarok team always falters for, my, for me, in my opinion. But again, I don't know if Freya's really changed that. There you go. So look at that. Melly just did that by himself. And then his ult did that. So I, I wasted Demon King's ult here. Theoretically, I could have, like, done much better, but um, I just didn't know how much ta damage we were doing. Look at that, dude. Look at that. That was a single target. So, realize that now, but, again, you're going to get debuffed here constantly. And because of that debuff, he's going to cleanse it off, and he's going to raise up everyone's attack. So, it was just beauty upon beauty. Here we go. Cleanse that debuff. Everyone's cleansed. Beautiful. Now let's destroy. <laughs> and, again, I was, like, I was always contemplating, like, dude, how much damage do I have to do here? Like, that's a lot of damage, bro. And uh, sometimes I messed up. I think I refreshed at one point, one time throughout this entire thing because I just knew I did too much damage. I'm like, dude, I'm wasting cards now. And I don't want to waste cards because, you know, I got to save them. So, did it again. Give it a second here. And remember, there's even like a reflect stage that happens where uh, Nidhogg will reflect the attack or damage back to you. At that point, stance cancel. Okay? So, make sure you're, you're planning for that ahead of time. Um, but, yeah, less than 75. Dropped it to another 25. Um, but we were just stalling. We were just stalling on the stage. The only thing you have to know about is when you get uh, ulted on, those debuffs, just be ready to cleanse them off. Otherwise, you're done for. Because uh, you can't tank that, obviously, right? You can't tank that. So, here we go. Another stage. Um, there are Liz ult, Deanna ult, Melly punches, and Deanna again. So, there we go. I had to save that blue card because I know he's going to ult soon. And I got to cleanse those off as soon as they get by. There we go again, and there we go again. So, standard stuff. <laughs> Very easy stuff. Uh, take his ults over here. There's the Ignites. Gotta cleanse him. Gotta cleanse him ASAP. Uh, will we do enough damage? I think we won't, actually. Because we didn't get any uh, cards here that were perfect enough. So we do this, we do this, we do this, and... I kind of knew that, that Melee Silver card wasn't enough, right? Because a Gold card barely pushes you to 75%. And Deanne's card and Liz's card isn't doing too much here. So I took the executive decision to not, to not use that card. And to save for next turn, because I'll get a gold card next turn, right? But also, I had to remove that stance. Because that reflection is annoying. So I allowed my Deanne and my Liz to attack, because they're going to be weak attacks, right? They're weak attacks. So that's why. But here we go. He's basically down to a, a very small percentage. Now my goal is just to lower that one more time. And it uh, doesn't matter how much I do here, but I did ult... Got a gold card. Did I actually use this hand? That's risky as hell. <laughs> That's risky as hell, bro. So, gold card down to that. And using a Demon King card is wild. It's wild. But remember, in this situation... Oh, I knew I was getting ults. That's why. That's why. Okay. I knew I was grabbing everybody's ults. So, I was okay with it. Okay, okay. 
I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, did I actually use all those cards to confirm the kill here? Uh, but yeah, post this. I just ult it, and I finished. Very easy stage. Um, again, it was mainly my fault for making this much longer than it uh, was supposed to be. This could have been a 15 minute game program. This could have been done in 15 minutes, right? It's just my, again, mess up being on that uh, one part. I did all the uh, applying of darkness for no reason. So there is that. Whenever the gameplay ends, boom, boom, pow, we won. We're uh, we're goaded. We're we're cracked. We're we're stacked. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if it already ended, but hop in game real quick. I'll show you the team that I uh, formatted or how it went. Uh, it was again uh, Deanne with Harm Link. This with just any Link. This with Sariel Link. This with um, just any Link, right? So CC Link is what I went for. Could put like my yell here or sorry yell here, put my yell here or whatever. I uh, could have done much better there, but who gives a damn? Uh, with the card set, I don't have the other card set, plus I don't think it works. It has to be the same race or whatever. Uh, this one is uh, just a standard tier card set. Um, for gear sets, let me just show you that actually. This is HP defense. This is attack crit. This is on UARD. So if I did UARD this, much be better. Um, would be much better for him. Uh, but that is just HP defense. And then again, HP defense over here. There's no specific stats or anything. Just standard, standard stats. Attack crit again is the only difference here, where he was just too good. He was just too good. Again, he got attacked the most. But the, the point of having Dian here is she could stance up and taunt. So you didn't really have to do any like I gotta remove this piece here to make this the lowest HP to get him to get attacked. Didn't matter. Didn't have to lower her HP or anything. So no gimmick involved there, and it worked. So again, very fun team, very good team. Try it out, see how it goes. And yeah, that's been for me. Take care, have fun. That is the full team breakdown. Hope you enjoyed.